Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the Grit Culture. Just want to talk about something real quick, man. Uh, kind of related to uh, a previous video that I just recently did, man, about uh, Kyler Murray. It's not uh, not about him this time, but it was about you know one of the subject, what example that I used in the last video. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Patrick Mahomes. Now, Patrick Mahomes, uh, you know, I was basically talking about, you know, Kyler Murray, and I was talking about, you know, some of the, you know, criticisms as far as in the media, you know, when it was talk about, you know, black quarterbacks and everything. Uh, I was basically making the point saying that I, I don't think it was mutually, you know, exclusive in today's game to, you know, just black I mean, I don't think it was exclusive to just black quarterbacks. Uh, I think, you know, some of the criticisms that the guys like Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson were getting were uh, were valid. But, you know, not only that, but, you know, it's a lot of white quarterbacks out here, you know what I'm saying, that get, you know, consistently get criticized. And not only that, just, you know, um, you know, some of them, you know, according to the public or whatnot, may, you know, may catch bad breaks. You know, you see uh, guys like, you know, what well, Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield's got going on. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a lot of guys out here, man, that go through the same thing. Think about what Kyler Murray and, you know, Josh Rosen. See how the Cardinals did Josh Rosen. Uh, a lot of guys that still, you know, have a lot of questions asked about about them, which, you know, and a lot of times it's, it's not saying that it's just, you know, unjustified criticism is a lot of it is you know it's right on point you know guys like Derek Carr even Aaron Rodgers gets criticized for you know he hasn't been made the he hasn't won a playoff game and well not playoff game but shit uh he hadn't make it made it far in the playoffs in a while man and even you know getting to the Super Bowl and I think his only Super Bowl uh win and when they made it man they Got to the NFC Championship game, and, you know, they beat Caleb Haney. And that's not to take away from what they did. You know, it's still a tough accomplishment, but like I said, there's still an asterisk about around Aaron Rodgers, and he's one of the elite talents in the game. Um, you know, everybody has some, some type of, you know, has different questions. Tom Brady was facing it for years, uh, wondering if his game was going to drop off. Uh, sometimes they – you know, tried to delegitimize stuff that his accomplishments that he did, you know, basically saying, you know, he cheated or he couldn't do it without Bill Belichick, uh, which he, you know, he proved wrong. Um, but Patrick Mahomes, you know, recently was talking about uh, in light of everything that's been going on in the media, he had, him, um, you know, they having training camp with the Kansas City Chiefs and, you know, they have him on an interview and he was basically um, – talking about the stigma that a lot of black quarterbacks and I, you know I'm, of course I'm be paraphrasing but the stigma that a lot of black quarterbacks get today hey, I think of the street ball stuff that we've heard about you and kind of what came out with Tyler's contract do you think you're evaluated differently because you are a black quarterback um I don't want to go that far and say that I mean obviously uh, the black quarterback has had a battle to be in this position that we are to have this many guys in the league playing and I think every day we're proving that uh, we should have been playing the whole time. We've got guys that think think uh, just as well as they can use their athleticism. And so uh, it, it always is weird when you see guys like me, Lamar, Kyler, kind of get that on them and other guys don't. But at the same time, we're going to go out there and prove ourselves every day to show that we can be some of the best quarterbacks in the league. And, you know, I was ready, uh, I was ready to disagree because he brought up Kyler and Lamar. And this was after, you know, the last video I made. So he brought up Kyler and Lamar and – so, you know, I was ready to disagree, and I still want to kind of disagree, but, you know, he's essentially right. I don't think like I don't think it applies to Kyler and Lamar's situation as far as in the media and whatever the issue is that they have going on with their particular team. But, you know, as far as, you know, them having black quarterbacks having to work for their positions and, you know, a lot of the – the scouting, the type of scouting that they get. And, you know, I was having, you know, I had conversation, like I had a conversation with my, uh, with my guy, Lauren Jones, my friend, Lauren Jones, C catch him over there at uh, Elevating Men. And, um, and also, you know, on Word on the Ave, you know, you can find him over there. You see it on the link 
he's my co-host but we had a conversation about that and uh and he was bring bringing it from the standpoint of you know like i said you know the stigma that you know black quarterbacks aren't intelligent and i think that's what and i'm pretty sure that's what mahomes was getting at in his conversation uh about it also uh, I was looking at it a completely different way, looking at it through, you know, just their stigma through the media and their their personal contract dispute or whatever's going on with their uh, with their their personal organizations right now. I don't think it necessarily applies to that. Uh, but as far as, you know, um, Patrick Mahomes is right as far as scouting and, you know, the different things that they say about a lot of black quarterbacks. Yeah, that stigma's still there. I believe it's there. Uh, I I believe it's apparent, you know, not only just in the quarterback position, you know, believing that, you know, it's just all about athleticism and not enough about their intelligence. But I think that's evident, you know, throughout the league. I think that's evident throughout the league. You know, uh, you're still you're having more breakthrough nowadays, getting more head coaches, you know, black guys in, in higher uh, higher positions. But still i th still think there's that resistance it's still that resistance out there to really you know take that leap you know having more gms and stuff like that i don't know but you know like i said uh what really can you do i've had that conversation when it comes to you know ownership and the decisions that you make and uh, as long as you know the ownership is what it is you know they can choose who they want to sell sell to and it doesn't have to be a black dude. So if you want to be able to make those type of changes, you got to be able to get your own league started. But, you know, is it worth it? When you're in the, in the game, you know, everybody's in the game. They play in the sports. At the end of the day, they're trying to make money so they can make a better way for their family. They make a lot of money. They make a far, far more than enough to make a huge impact in their communities and, and do some incredible things. So, you know, it's... It, it, is it worth it in the end was was I, the the question I always pose and it doesn't hurt you know you'd like to have your own it's just you know these guys want to go out here and make as much as possible man they want to bring it back you know sports is a game at the end of the day uh but yeah you know back to Patrick Mahomes yeah he uh yeah he's he's got a point he definitely has a point with with that uh uh, and in fact, it's more than the point. Like I said, it's, it's it's just it's embedded in history. It's embedded in history. It's just how it's always been. Uh, I I think you know it took a while for there to be a lot of black quarterbacks today, but you know it got to the point to where you know kind of like you know y'all know the story of Bear Bryant at Alabama. He didn't even want black black players until you know he realized that this is was was going to help get him wins. It's like that in the NFL. The, the NBA, the NBA was like that. You know, they didn't want a lot of black players, but they realized that, yo, these motherfuckers is talented. So you can't deny it. And if you want to put asses in seats and be able to bring revenue and stuff like that, hey, <laughs> you got to get the best possible talent. You know what I'm saying? So and so that's what you're seeing. You're seeing a lot of, um, you know, now it's undeniable. It's undeniable for these organizations. You're seeing a lot of black players, you know, all type of them, you know, starting from many teams, uh, from Jalen Hurts to Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott to Kyler Murray's to Deshaun Watson, you know, they're everywhere. But yeah, there's still that, you know, as far as, you know, I, I you know, you, you still have these anonymous sources or whatnot, uh, they still come out and say, you know, stuff that, you know, still paints the quarterback as being, you know, being dumb now. But a lot of, you know, some of the criticism is right on point. Like I was, I agreed with what Bernard Pollard said, you know, as far as Lamar Jackson being a pure quarterback, I think that was legitimate criticism from, him. but, uh, yeah, no, it's, I, I don't think it, uh, as far as the media, and everything that's being said about these guys, I don't think the media is being unfair. I think they dish it around all the same. Um, uh, the trust that's put in, I think you're seeing more. Like, you're seeing more starting black quarterbacks. You're seeing the backups. You're seeing a lot of that going on. So you know, like I said, you know, 
they're, they're learning these organizations are learning to trust and, you know, put put black quarterbacks, you know, not just because of their skin color, because of their talent. You know, they're winning these positions. You're seeing them backup positions. You're seeing a lot of starters, man. And you're seeing more and more, uh, seeing more and more every year. But that's not to say, you know, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But shit, you know, people going to have crazy ass opinions out here. Um, even past, you know, just sports, you see it in the, you know, shit. I've seen that at my job, you know, I've had it happen to me. You know, people assume they try to attach a stigma. They think because you're black. And things they see on television or whatnot, or how you know we're how we're portrayed, or how we may portray ourselves, uh, they try to tie you to that. They try to you know talk to you like you're stupid. You just got to show them different. That's all really all you can do. You know you can't go whipping their ass or anything like that. All you can do is you know show different, show different, or or create your own lane. But that's that's really all you can do. It's uh, it's just the reality of the situation. Uh, but, yeah, as far as, you know, the criticism that's, you know, in the media, and it's all given the same. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of white quarterbacks that shit. I think, you know, like I said, I won't necessarily say they caught a bad break, but shit, they got tossed right to the side for black quarterbacks. Think about Patrick Mahomes' situation with Alex Smith. Alex Smith had... Winning season after winning season. We have the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, as one of the best teams in the league when he got there. Uh, but, you know, the criticism was, you know, he couldn't really throw long. Not only, you know, he couldn't throw long, and, you know, he, he could be a game manager at best. But, you know, he was a real good quarterback. Uh, you saw what he did in San Francisco also. You saw what he did in San Francisco, took them to the, uh, I believe, the NFC Championship game, but was let go for, for Colin Kaepernick. They decided to go with Colin Kaepernick, uh, you know, right after that. It's just how it goes sometimes. They're going with who they believe, you know, can uh, take them in the future, who has the best bet to have success in the future. And that's just, you know, that's just how it's been. Uh, check out what's going on. Uh, one with Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance. You said you've heard all the criticism with Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, Kirk Cousins. Like I said, I bring up Baker Mayfield again. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. They basically they ready to toss him to. I've seen articles ready to toss him to the side, saying he's a bust already. They not even giving the dude a chance to grow. It's only been one season, you know. So you know, I. I like I said, the racism happens out here. It's just, I, I, you know, I, I don't feel the need to go reaching on these situations. You ain't got to reach for them. There's plenty of stuff out here and just plenty of history. You just take a look around. It, racism is real. It's embedded in this, in this society, in American society. But, you know, keep pushing forward. But it gets, you know, in today's age, it gets weaponized, it gets propagandized, it gets used against us so if they can keep the vision. Uh, but like I said, I was ready to disagree with Patrick Mahomes, but, you know, like I said, relative to Kyler Murray, Lamar, and all of that, no, I don't, it's, not the, it's not the case. Uh, but in general, and just like I said, not just football, but, you know, all type of different things, man. It's it's yeah. That's just how some people are, man. They think black folks is, is dumb. It's just just the reality. So it's on you know, on us to keep showing you know if you want to show 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 different or like I said, create your own lane. You got to make something happen though, right? Anyway, that's all I got on that. Uh, man, I'm tired, man. I gotta go out, man. Make some more money tonight, man. The grind never stops, but let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Uh, let me know what y'all think about com uh, Patrick Mahomes' comments. Let me know what you uh, what you think about what I'm saying, if I'm wrong or right. But, yeah, we'll get into it, man. Well, yeah, holler at me and hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll holler at you later.